What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Shopper, bringing you my best bet of the day. Getting things started. It's Super Bowl week, Monday, February 6th, in the sports world. We're, of course, going to be talking football for a lot of this week, but today, more college basketball on the docket. I've got a game. We're going to dive into it in just a second. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're returning, regardless, this is what we do here free content at Odd Shopper. We're breaking down games, picking lines, hopefully, cashing tickets. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We got off to a bad start in February. Saturday was a key game for us, Mississippi State, and we got there. They controlled that game from start to finish. We're feeling good, getting some momentum to start off a new week here. In addition to that, look at this. Bet 5, win 200 over at DK Sportsbook. You got to be a new user. But if you are, if you have not played over there, listen to this very quickly. Link below. If you go to that link and you click it, you sign up, and you put your $5 wager on any market out there. does not matter. $200. Coming back to you. It's that simple. Got to be 21 plus. Play responsive. If you have a gambling problem, call 1 800 Gambler. Texas, Kansas, every game in the Big 12 is a battle. There's no doubt about it. These are intense games and it's going to be intense tonight. But when you go on the road and there's a cumulative nature to it, I'm going to back the home team in the Jayhawks. I will lay four points here. And it's tough because I look at these teams and you could very much. Make an argument that, I mean, certainly Texas is playing better. You can make an argument that Texas might just be better. But it's not even about that, as crazy as it sounds. Situationally, this is a terrible spot for Texas. They're 19-4, and 8-2 and two in the conference. They've done a very good job, particularly with the turmoil with the head coach. Everything has been held together. They've won four or five. Their lone loss was at Tennessee. They gave up 82 points in that game. I don't really understand that because Tennessee is an awful offense. We have seen Texas's defense melt at various points in the year. Uh, they've given up some big time performances and then they've looked good in other spots defensively. They're coming in off an extreme stretch of games and they've answered the call, but I truly wonder how many times can they do just that? They won a hard fought game at home against Baylor. Then they had to go on the road on Saturday into the octagon of doom to take on Kansas state. They were down double digits at half. They battled back in the final minutes and stole that game. Very impressive win, but man, was it taxing 79 points per game, 33% from three. They've got four guys in double figures, a pretty balanced team. There's no doubt about that. Here's where it gets tricky. I'll go right off the bat. Like most teams, they prefer strongly to be at home. And I'll just reference their effective field goal percentage drops nearly eight points when they hit the road in terms of the splits. A massive drop. They're one of the you know fringe top 25 best effective field goal percentage teams at home on the road. Nowhere to be found. And that's just what we have to deal with because they're going into Allen Fieldhouse, taking on Kansas, who's 18 and five. They've lost four of six. But these games are super difficult road games. Three of those losses, really difficult road tests. And the last one was that certainly that. They went to Ames, no showed against Iowa State. They were beaten soundly. Now they are back home and not a mu- there are no must wins here. These are tournament teams. There's no doubt about it. But big time game, 75 points per game, 36% from three. They've got the best player on the floor in Jalen Wilson, 21 points per game, nearly nine boards, three others in double figures. And we know that Jalen Wilson – He's going to show up basically everywhere. It's the role players. We know the kind of that's the old adage, you know, you know, your role players at home, much more effective. And Kansas does kind of personify that. Unlike Texas, it's no surprise. Kansas gets a boost. Effective field goal percentage, 51% on the road, 54% at home. You don't think that matters. It really, really does. You look at everything else. Both of these teams are pretty sound, but Texas is a type of team. They really, they're not a great shooting team. They're not uh, an aggressive team where they get to the line an astronomical amount or anything like that. They rely on just efficiency and getting, you know, two point shots, which they'll get obviously their attempts tonight. I think Kansas is going to really have the answers for them. And when Texas's defense doesn't travel, we've seen this multiple times straight no show on the road. I think Kansas in this spot, it's going to be hard to sweep both, you know, KU and K-State in back to back games on the road. You do that. I tip my hat. Nice hands, sir. Uh, Good game. I don't really see it. I think that Kansas will answer the challenge. I think they will control this game. And I will lay the four points here. I'm comfortable with that. A 147 total is very healthy. It's going to be up and down. I think Kansas can get in transition as well and cause even more problems there. So give me the Jayhawks at home laying the four points. One game here, Super Bowl props. Other college basketball games. NBA, there's trades all over the place. What else we got going on? Come find out in Discord. Just click that link right in the description. You see all the familiar faces. This is where we hang out. It's where our full cards are. We're answering questions. We're sweating games. Having a good time there. Again, 
Come test this out. You get 50% off that first week. No reason not to at least stick around for one. Maybe you become a long-term member. That would be awesome. Uh, but either way, get in the door and say what's up when you do. But that'll do it, friends. Just kicking things off on a Monday here. We got plenty coming down. PGA, Super Bowl, college basketball, and everything in between. Just want to say thanks again for tuning in. I always appreciate you guys. Good luck. Enjoy. Talk to you guys tomorrow.